select the rectangular marquee tool and hold the left mouse button to bring this menu and choose the elliptical marquee tool hit control and plus on your keyboard a couple of times to zoom in let's hit can hold control and click plus one more hold the space bar and just click and drag until something like this appears position the mouse cursor at the center of the back wheel so position it here hold the out key and depending on your settings you can also hold out and shift and make a selection similar to this you can click and drag to further adjust the position now hit ctrl plus j to duplicate it to a new layer and let's rename this layer double click on the name and rename it to wheel hit enter and now let's go to filter blur gallery spin blur now just click in the center of the wheel to set where the effect will be and here change the blur angle to 30. You can click here for better quality, so check high quality. And when it applies, hit OK. And now wait a couple of seconds until the effect applies, then hit Ctrl plus 0. To zoom out or control minus let's hit control plus two times let's select the move tool hold out and shift on the keyboard and just click and drag to the other wheel and you can also zoom in by holding the out key and you can zoom in and out with the mouse scroller while holding the Alt key. When you hold Ctrl and drag, and you adjust the position, you have better control when you drag and hold the Ctrl key on your keyboard. So adjust the position like this. Now hit Ctrl plus zero again. Select the single column marquee tool this time. Now with the top layer selected, hold the shift key and select the background layer. Then right click on it and choose merge layers to merge them to a single layer. And now with the single column marquee, just click and drag and position it somewhere above the back wheel to something like this. Now let's zoom in closer. Select the rectangular marquee tool this time. Zoom in even closer and starting from where the edge of the car is, just click and drag while holding the Alt key, a selection like this, and one more selection around the single column selection at the bottom, starting at the bottom of the car where the car meets the ground so extract from the selection like this let's zoom out all the way now again hold the out key and also extract the missing parts 
to drag all the way to the outside of the document to remove the bottom of the selection and also this part here hold the alt key and drag all the way to the top of the document like this now hit ctrl plus j and let's rename this layer to effect one and hit enter now go to edit free transform or hit ctrl plus t on your keyboard and now just click and drag to transform all the way to the outside of the document and hit enter to commit the transformation and now let's zoom in again select the single color marquee tool but this time position it somewhere at the center of the car select the rectangular marquee tool again hold the alt key this time start at the top of the car and let's remove this part here and a little bit below the window let's click and drag and remove this part here now again hold zoom out hold the out key remove the bottom part of this selection hold the out key and remove the top part of the selection the same way that we did before now again control plus t but make sure that the background layer is selected first so select the background layer and hit control plus t we'll go to edit free transform and again click and drag all the way to the back of the document and you can even go outside of it like this now hit enter to commit the transformation and go to select deselect or control plus d is the shortcut key now we could have done this in a new layer so what i'm gonna do to fix this is go to history and go all the way back to where i set my final selection so get back one two three three history states back so the last thing we did was deselect now one up two up to the re last rectangular marquee transformation let's hide the history you can open the history tab by going to window history and now just hit control plus j or layer new layer copy now hit control now let's first rename this layer to effect 2 and hit enter now go to edit free transform and just click and drag but now let's do the same thing but now it will be on the separate layer which is better click and drag effect 2 above effect 1 hold the control key on your keyboard and also select effect one now that the bot both of the layers are selected go to layer group layers or control plus g to make a group of the layers and now go to layer layer mask 
and choose review all now select the brush tool go to window brush settings and select from here a soft round brush you can set the size to something like 300 something pixels and set the hardness to somewhere around 20 let's hide the brush settings and make sure you select black cover and that you're not using other color just click and drag in this area here right make some gradient effect click here below to make also some gradient effect you can change the brush size using the left and right square bracket keys or by holding the alt key on your keyboard and just click and drag with the right mouse button to change the brush size. Now let's increase the brush size a bit more. Let's right click and set the hardness to 35 for example and click at the back here like this maybe make the brush even larger and just click once more let's reduce now the opacity to 15% from here this is the brush opacity, hit enter, position the brush to the right, and let's click one more time, move it a bit to the left, and click one more time. So hit control plus zero to zoom out and this is the final effect thank you for watching subscribe to damian photoshop channel and like the video